My name is Paula Demi, and if you want to be the world's greatest gamer, you've come to the right place. I win 41% of the games I play. Wait, I lose more than half the time? That can't be right. Those who win, do. Those who don't, research new ways to get that win. And I've done that research, so you don't have to. So join me for some dicey strategy, made possible by the World Series of Board Game. Welcome to the series where strategy gets a bit dicey. Today we're looking at Wingspan. The most important thing to remember when playing Wingspan is that you need to think like a bird to win like a bird. Tap into the avian within you. Once you become the bird, you can watch the bird. And that's what Wingspan is all about. It's also why I'm sitting in this nest. Let's get started. Wingspan is often referred to as an engine building game, but over the course of the four game rounds, you will only get 26 actions. 26, that's it. So perhaps we should be thinking of it more as an action economy game. You want to get the most done possible with one single action cube. You can do this by playing bird cards that diversify your habitats. Play a bird in the wetlands that lays eggs when it gets activated, or fill your grasslands with birds that give you food on activation. If you can do that, you'll be getting more than one resource type for a single action. Meanwhile, everyone else is spending one action to get only eggs, then their next action getting only food. <laughs> Chumps. Some birds have better abilities than others. Just ask the penguins. They can't fly. You probably want to avoid taking birds with abilities that help other players. Contrary to popular belief, this is not a multiplayer solitaire game, and you might just be helping them along to a win. You probably also want to skip birds with reroll abilities. You're not guaranteed to roll the thing you want, and if you're like me, you're pretty much guaranteed not to. And that's just not efficient. Birds with the ability to cache food are great if the food comes from the supply and not from the bird feeder. Again, the feeder is at the mercy of the die rolls, and dice just aren't reliable, and they never pay their bills on time. I really like birds with abilities that let you tuck cards behind them but these are at their best when they let you tuck straight from the deck. You'll never have to skip the tuck due to an empty hand. Or when they let you draw a card if you tuck. This is a great way to cycle through the deck to find the birds you really want. The early bird may get the worm, but the late bird lays the eggs. Similarly, your early game strategy and your late game strategy should be different. In the early game, focus on cheap birds you can get played into habitats quickly. The faster you can get an engine going in one of your habitats, the better. The early game is also the perfect time for playing birds with pink powers. These powers give you something good when one of your opponents takes a specific action. The earlier you play it, the more opportunities for it to activate. Though of course, they could stop taking the trigger action once you've played the card to avoid giving you the benefit. Once you get to the late game, don't bother with those pink power cards. Focus on playing birds with high point values and laying as many eggs as possible. I mean, each egg is a point. My final tip for you is to keep an eye out for the ravens. There are only two in the base deck and they are powerful. They let you discard one egg to get any two food from the supply. Squawk about action economy. If one of these comes out, it's time to tap into your inner bird of prey and snatch it up. Those are my strategy tips for wingspan. Now that you've tapped into your inner bird, it's time to spread your own wings and fly out of the nest, soaring on your way to victory. If you want to test your skills in an official setting, consider competing in the World Series of Board Gaming, happening in September in Las Vegas. Wingspan is one of the 16 ring events and the tournament grand prize is $25,000. The World Series of Board Gaming is helping to sponsor this strategy series. And if you'd like more information about the event, you can check out wsbgvegas.com, which is linked below. Thanks for watching. Let me know your strategy tips in the comments below. And remember, ducks fly together. <laughs>